So what a first day it's been. Mike Gregory out and Dave Whitcomb out. And among those six winners of the first round matches here today, we obviously have to salute the new young blood. Peter Everson, only 23. Chris Johns, only 25. Both into the second round in their first appearance in the World Professional Championship. Well, these are the matches that are played here tomorrow. Three in the afternoon, three in the evening. Rob McKenzie against Dennis Hickling. Bob Sineve seeded for the Canadian against Horry Seddon and Paul Lim against Stefan Lord. And then in the evening, John Lowe against Keith Della, Lars Eric Carlson against Paul Reynolds and Cliff Lazarenko against Tony Payne. And obviously tomorrow we'll be bringing you the pick of what the first round matches has thrown up. And it's that match between the defending champion, John Lowe, and the former world champion from 1983, Keith Della. Our programme tomorrow, first of all, is on BBC Two at 9.40. Join us for that. Plenty of excitement today and plenty more to come tomorrow. Till then, bye-bye. And you can keep in touch with the World Dance Championship on CFAX, page 350. Now, a look at tomorrow night on BBC One. At 6.40, Songs of Praise comes from Wales, from Bangor Cathedral, where Ian Gall talks to one of its former choristers, a young man by the name of Alid Jones. At a quarter past seven, Christopher Plummer, Catherine Schell and Herbert Lom join Peter Sellers as the almost unbelievably stupid Inspector Clouseau in The Return of the Pink Panther. Then at five past nine, there's a special programme from That's Life called The Gift of Life. It's a report on transplant surgery, meeting some of the people who have received this gift, but also highlighting the shortage of donor organs and discussing the medical and ethical issues involved. The news is at 20 past 10, and then at 10.35, every man looks at how the new evangelistic Buddhist sects are answering the spiritual needs of people who have suffered the negative effect of Japan's economic miracle. Taking as an example one couple whose marriage was shaken by his affair and her subsequent suicide attempt. At 11.15 we're taking another look at sporting chances. The opportunity is given to celebrities to try the sport of their choice. Tomorrow it's snooker for Paul Nicholas, motor racing for Leslie Ash and potholing for the series presenter Annika Rice. That's tomorrow here on BBC One. Now the weather. The last of the more persistent rain will clear from southeastern parts overnight, but showers will continue to affect northern and western areas where it'll also be windy. Tomorrow, northern and western areas will continue windy with further showers, these heavy in places, although with sunshine in between. Southeastern parts will be mostly dry with some sunshine, but Essex and Kent may well have outbreaks of rain returning late in the day. And temperatures, they'll be lower than today's, but still quite reasonable for the time of year. And this is the time of night. It's coming up to exactly half past one. And high time we weren't here. But if you're either choosing or having to stay awake, there's a choice of listening on our radio networks. Radio 2 throughout the night as ever. And the BBC World Service on 1500 metres long wave. That's the frequency normally used for Radio 4. BBC One will be on the air again in just a few hours, but now on behalf of all of us here tonight, this is Malcolm Einan wishing you a very good night.